I'm so hot. I couldn't fast as well. I'm sorry. That last episode was a bit hectic, wasn't it? I've been on a strict diet of fat-free Greek yogurt and berries ever since. But it's time to get back in the saddle. I'm hoping that today's challenge is not quite as hard, but I don't know, it does look quite big. I suppose we'll find out. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. to park some distance from the, uh, the actual restaurant itself because it doesn't have parking. But I think it should be all right here, right? It does feel a bit like the kind of place that would be residents only. I feel like Raymere's or something, look. Just getting through the, uh, the old bushes here. Uh -huh. This is it. Excuse the biffer bins, but we're in the right place. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm here for your, uh, you have some kind of eating challenge thing? Yeah, just I don't know if you know anything about around here, but I parked it just up that street. Goodbye. Yeah, that's alright, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna get towed or anything. No, it's a disaster if you fail and uh, you get a ticket as well. <laughs> yeah, alright man, come on, come on now. Take on the single player challenge and take your place in the Wall of Fame. Four beef burgers, three big dogs, butterfly chicken, spiced chicken, pagillo? What is a pagillo? Dark chicken. Roll thigh. Ah, chicken thigh? Yeah. I, I have no idea. 60 pounds. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> I better do it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at, I mean, it's a shame for that to be so empty. Nobody's done the challenge. I, I hope I win now. <whistles> oh. That is, that's something, isn't it? Let's get the size of the flipping Hot dogs? We've got big dogs for a reason. Yeah, that is a big dog. Healthy tomato on there, you know, only five a day. <laughs> Don't laugh, I've used that joke like 700 times, I think, in the history of the channel. <laughs> what do you reckon then? You think I could do it? Yeah. I'm in, I think I'm in the no half, but I'll give it my best shot. We'll see, we'll see. Should have done some yoga this morning, you know. <laughs> We're at a place called Celia's Kitchen today in uh, Prestwich. Does it have a special name or just the Man vs Food Challenge? It's the Man vs Food Challenge. And uh, it's flipping humongous, if you haven't uh, sussed that out already. Do you want to tell me what's on it real quick? So you've got four burgers, you've got three big dogs, kilo of chips, spiced pagiot, which is uh, thigh of chicken, some coleslaw, some grilled tomatoes, and a little bit of fried chicken as well. Did you say spiced? A little bit spiced. Hopefully I'll be alright. It's not that spicy, right? I believe in you. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Off you go. Let's start with the burgers, shall we? These just beef burgers, yeah? Yeah, start with burgers. Well, let's not undersell it. Those are brioche buns, after all. You don't get much fancier than that. What's up, bro? Welcome back to another episode. We're at Celia's Kitchen today in Prestwich, doing battle with the Man vs. Food Challenge. Cost 60 nicker. But if you can finish it inside half an hour, you get the meal free and a spot on the so far positively barren wall of fame. It's not too hard to figure out why it's empty because this is a lot of grub. <laughs> You've got a cheeky grin on your face. You don't think I'm gonna do, do you? <laughs> you think I will do it? Pretty even split amongst the bystanders there. We'll see, we'll see. We're about halfway through the burgers, I think, of which there are four, containing a total of one kilogram of beef mince. Cheese on top, lettuce, you know, the kind of burger your, uh, your mum would make. Nothing too experimental, but they've got a bit of girth to them. I wiped my beard down, I've got a little bit of an audience today. I'm trying to squash these things. They're taking a lot of chewing. What next? Man, look at the size of these suckers. <laughs> this is sweet chili. Is it more sweet than chili or? Uh, no, sweet. I, I don't believe it. 
what we got here, ketchup mac. A lot of people don't like ketchup on hot dogs, right? That's sacrilegious in some parts of New York, but uh, anything to lube them up a little bit. Come on. This chewy bread's gonna be the problem. Steady, mate. It always, it always starts out well. That's how you finish off. That sounded a bit weird, didn't it? Well, it, it didn't until you made it weird. Let's move on, shall we? I know what you're thinking. It looks like a formality, right? But these hot dogs with the French bread, they tasted good, but... Is that trying to eat shipping rope or something? <laughs> Nobody puts mayonnaise on hot dogs, do they? Could be the first person in history to ever do that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, right said Fred seems impressed, but we've got a long... <laughs> <laughs> We've got a long way to go. I'm just joking. He does look a little bit like one of the guys from Right Side Fred, though. Oh, those are chewy. I don't know. You tell me. Can I get rid of those sticks? I don't eat those. Safety first, kids. I'm going with a little bit of sweet chili sauce for the fried chicken pieces, which were very delicious. Shame you only get a few of those, actually. Uh, I'd have taken triple fried chicken in exchange for one of those big dogs. How many minutes? Ooh. 18 minutes to go. It's gonna go down to the wire. Yeah, it's gonna be a tense ending. Not sure if we'll need the dramatic orchestral war music like last episode, but we'll see. Taking a break from the heavy starch here with what has to be a genetically, heavily genetically modified tomato. Not sure why I look so confused. Probably because it's the size of a cricket ball. For those of you that don't know what cricket is, it's a little bit like baseball only. It's played by more than one country, yeah. How spicy is this stuff? Maybe I'll leave that to the end. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, uh, but that's code for, I really need to get the last dog down now. If it doesn't go down now, it's not happening, ever. I don't know if I can chew anymore. Ooh, the old muscles of mastication are letting me down here. That's mastication. Who was laughing at the way I eat chips? What? Is you? No, Yeah, I can't blame him for laughing, can you? But sometimes you got to bunch them up, optimise bite efficiency and all that. It does look ridiculous, but there are 2.2 pounds of chips to get through here, so every little helps. Yeah, take a drink from your posh glass, mate. That'll do it. How's my beard look? I'm definitely not believing now. <laughs> Do you have, um, can I get like a Diet Coke or something like that? Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, we're in trouble now. We got the fizzy beverage on deck. I'm not sure how much it's going to help, to tell you the truth. And I've been dodging that spicy chicken for the duration so far. I have to get stuck in there at some point. Yeah, maybe after I've moved the chips around a bit to trick my brain into thinking there aren't that many left. <laughs> Eight chips. You should have got that spec savers down the street. I just drove past. Eight hundred grams of chips, maybe. Come on, you can do this. The onlookers are being very supportive. It's got to be said. And in real terms, I'm not that far away from the finish line. But the chips are making this an uphill battle. They're the crispy kind too, you know, crispy, a little cold, which adds to the difficulty. Eight minutes left though, so it should be doable. Should really be getting a move on here. Where's the urgency, old chap? Still there. I can touch this chicken, right? It's not that spicy. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea or not. 
spicy. Pretty spicy. Yeah, spicy enough that it did not have a positive effect on my appetite, let's say that. <laughs> Got through the bowl though. I sure left that to the end. <laughs> you did say you were going to. <clears throat> yeah, no, I didn't do that. Why didn't I listen to myself? <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose. <sighs> How long's left? Four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes. <sighs> I shouldn't have eaten the chicken. <sighs> <laughs> Gotta do the healthy stuff. Where'd you even find tomatoes this big? How long was left? Two and a half. Two and a half? Yeah. <sighs> After that last episode, I don't think I've got another push in me. <sighs> yeah, go on then. Who said that? Well, you'll get me disqualified, I'll save you some. You can have the coleslaw, I'll save that for you. Oh man. You know what, I, I just wasted too much time in the middle, I think. Oh, how long's left? One minute. Oh. What if I just squeeze all this in? <laughs> I can't, I don't even I can fit that much in. I might as well try the coleslaw, right? How long is it, about 30 seconds? No! Oh. Don't clap, I don't deserve it. You have to go back and do it again. Might be a little while till I do that, mate. Yeah, well, I would have ordered this, mate, if I'd finished. It's a bit cheap of me to do it now, isn't it? But uh... then again, the brioche bread and butter pudding sounds nice. I probably had enough bread for one day, though. I'm all right. <laughs> can I can I try some of the baked Alaska? Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Thank you. It looks a bit posh, posh baked Alaska. Do you want to ring me up, boss? Do you want to do you want to bring me the bill? It's about time I paid up. So, uh, for a we were always on top. <laughs> it says fail on it. You meanie. Whoa. Oh, I was just too slow at the beginning, you know. Anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you all for being so nice. We and you, awesome. you, I'll beat you next time, yeah? I'll beat you next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was embarrassing. <laughs> just, I staved off losing last week, only to flip and lose the week after. <laughs> I suppose it's been a while since I lost. Still doesn't feel good. I have to go back and beat him. The little scamp. Well, at least my car's still here. I can't stop losing. Oh, ages ago, I, I mean, I probably only failed maybe two in the past uh, 18 months or so. We'll give you half an hour to eat this one. <laughs>